One of the problems we're faced with in calculus is finding the limit of a function. But before we can actually get into computing or finding that limit, we really have to understand what it means to take the limit of a function. So let's go ahead and work on a nice intuitive definition on how you can start thinking of the limit of a function. We say that f approaches the limit l as x approaches a if f is arbitrarily close to l for all x sufficiently close to a. Now if you're looking at that def definition and still saying, I have no idea what it is, let's go ahead and pick it apart and see if we can understand it a little bit better. So essentially when I'm talking about the limit of a function, I'm interested about the behavior of a function. To be really specific, I want to know what its y values are doing. Now, if I start getting my uh, x values arbitrarily close to some sort of value a, I can start looking at the y values associated with those x's. And so if those get close to a value L, then I know that the limit exists. So again, I'm looking at my X values approaching A and what effect that has on my, the Y values to see if they approach L. If that happens, then I can say that F has a limit. To look at this definition more pictorially, let's go ahead and look at a graph. So essentially, my graph is F of X. And I'm really curious about the behavior of f around some point called a. Now, as I choose x values close to a, maybe on the right side and on the left side, I can look at their corresponding y values. So if I choose these x values close enough to a, my y values get closer to l, then I can say that this thing has a limit. In fact, if I can get arbitrarily close enough to L, basically as close as you want, then I know this thing has a limit. So essentially, the limit is made up of three different parts. One, you're taking the limit of some sort of function. You're looking at x values as they approach some value A. And you're looking at the y values of a, of a function to see if they approach a value, and we call that L, or the limit. For some further videos on how to compute the limit, or how to estimate it, Check out more videos at MySecretMathTutor.com.